Joe Biden said somewhere, Bibi Netanyahu's been waging this war as a mistake, or I'm not sure exactly what. He's I, making I hate a mistake. that quote. I hate that uh, quote. Yeah. Uh, it, it's... Well, I mean, I'm sorry to, to be, but like there's ways that he could shift his rhetoric that doesn't make it seem like the Israeli government tripped over itself and went and just like a, they, they took they took a wrong turn. They should have gone left on Maple as opposed to right when they did this genocide, as opposed to it being literally like a plan that they were so excited to trigger after October 7th. This was always what this particularly far right extremist coalition wanted and i i would argue as well the uh, eventual end result of the zionist project um here is senator elizabeth warren at a town hall i don't think she planned to uh, to say this but i think you know look if you have been paying any attention to this and you do not have a knee-jerk reaction to believing uh, that Israel uh, could engage in this type of behavior. And for a lot of people, it's very difficult for them to even conceive of this. Yeah. Put aside uh, the origins of the country or whatnot, it is very hard to look at what Israel has been doing to a population of 2 million people to the minimum 15,000 children they have killed, to watching their rules of engagement, which basically allow for the killing of 300 civilians, as reported by uh, 972 Mag, 300 civilians to get one Hamas commander. Um, that is, that's the calculation they make, minimum, it seems like. Um, very hard not to conclude <clears throat> and then the weaponization of food as a weapon of war never mind you know energy and water and, and whatnot very hard to conclude anything other than israel is engaging at the very least in genocidal acts here's elizabeth warren again i don't think she was planning on uh on no. uh, uh, saying this or addressing this a second but, time and that's when she finally says it yeah but i i think how it's very difficult to be honest right and say anything different than what she said here good for her i mean notable yep, let's first i want to play it but but first first senator to say this right so do you think that israel is committing genocide so I think that, that what's happening now is there's going to be a long and involved debate over what constitutes genocide when you ask a legal question. For me, it is far more important to say what Israel is doing is wrong. And it is wrong. It is wrong to starve children within a civilian population in order to try to bend them to your will. It is wrong to drop 2,000 pound bombs in densely populated civilian areas. I think I can make a more effective argument by describing the behavior that is happening and whether I believe it is right or wrong and look people in the eye and say, do you want to tell me who think it is right? And that it should be the policy of the United States of America to support those actions. So that's how I analyze this. No, 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 no. I did analyze the question. I said, said yes or no. It was a yes or no. The second question was a yes or no question to clarify. Yeah. So if you want, if you want to do it as an application of law, I believe that we find that it is genocide, and they have ample evidence to do so. But I was trying to say, What I'm also trying to tell you is I'm trying to get people past a labels argument, which seems to throw up a screen, and to get them to look at the behavior on the ground, get them to look at the children, to get them to look at the moms and the old people and the people who've been displaced and the people who are living outside and the people who are drinking dirty water and talk about what the role of the United States is in connection with supporting the government with put the people of Gaza in that position. 
That's yep. a great answer in my in my estimation. I mean, you know, particularly coming from a lawyer, um, because genocide, and and this is going to be important when we play this next clip by Lloyd Austin. Genocide is a legal term. Yep. It is a legal term. And folks use it in the vernacular here and this and that. And, you know, um, we can sit here and say somebody murdered uh, somebody, but uh, we can know that they killed them for sure. Right. But uh, for it to be murder, it's going to be adjudicated. Now, we can also say, you know, in, in, the, in the vernacular that uh, this person was murdered. And then somebody murdered it, and 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 uh, you know uh, Joe murdered uh, Bill or something, uh, but it's a legal term, and yeah. um, and the, and the, the it's going to be adjudicated. Yes, but, to, and there's and the term is genocide means any of the following acts committed with intent to destroy in whole or in part a national ethnic ethnical racial or religious group as such, and there are five planks: killing members of the group, causing serious bodily or mental harm to members of the group group deliberately inflicting on the group conditions of life calculated to bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part imposing measures intended to prevent births within the group and forcibly transferring children of the group to another group and you just have to meet one of those um, and, and just because you do one or two of those uh, poorly or something in, in some instance but you commit acts of genocide and that is what the uh, ICJ is looking at are uh, is Israel committing genocidal acts and um, and as a legal as a lawyer, Elizabeth Warren is like, look, I happen to think that there's uh, there's definitely evidence and that they're ultimately going to find that this is genocide. And she's simply saying. If that term bothers people and can't and and and, and uh, in some way gives them an out. then I tend to 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 agree with this and, if, you know, avoided in certain instances using the word genocide not because I don't believe that what's going on is, is genocide, but because it allows people to change the topic to this semantic argument, as opposed to Israel is trying to starve children to death. Israel is trying to kill all of these people, trying to ethnic cleanse them um, and, uh, and is shattering lives and i and, and and as you said many times uh, emma i don't think we know even a fraction of 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 how many uh deaths we're seeing but here is lloyd austin and if you listen carefully i think he is also giving a very legalistic answer to this question um even though you can go back to december maybe it was december maybe it was even november where lloyd austin was saying publicly um, you might be able to win a battle here, but you're not going to win this war uh, against uh, Hamas. And uh, particularly if you're killing all these civilians. Here is uh, Lloyd Austin um, at the Senate Armed Service Committee hearing answering a question from uh, the um, I don't know, uh, genocidal uh, Tom Cotton, <laughs> frankly, maybe right. in other contexts. Um, I want to address what the protesters raised earlier. Uh, is Israel committing genocide in Gaza? Uh, Senator Cotton, I'm, we don't have any evidence of genocide uh, being uh, created. Uh, so that's a, that's a no. Israel's not committing genocide in Gaza. Uh, we don't have evidence of that, to Thank my you. knowledge. Yeah. Better than Director Burns and Director Haynes did last year, last month at the Intelligence Committee when they dodged that question. Um, you stand accused by those protesters of greenlighting genocide. Would you like to respond to that accusation? Uh, what I would say, uh, Senator Cotton, from second. the very beginning. Um, I wonder why the director of the CIA and others dodged that question. Yeah. And they're when you say in it? we don't and when he says we don't have evidence of Israel creating genocide. First of all, I don't know what creating genocide means, uh, but when he says we don't have any evidence, um, he can maybe argue like, well, the Defense Department doesn't collect evidence. We're not. That's not what we do. Yeah. Um, no, that's his out. I mean, we don't out. we don't have evidence of it. Being just when, as legalistic. I mean, yeah. I don't. 
I also don't possess evidence. I can read it. I, yeah. can, I can see it. Exactly. I don't have any evidence either. Incidentally, yeah. like I don't have the forensic material. I don't have the, you know, uh, the I don't have a witness in my, uh, you know, a studio or my apartment. Um, th that doesn't exist. That I mean, was so very deliberate. This is very legalistic, without yeah. a doubt, without a doubt. Um, and I don't know, like, I guess I will differ a little from you on on Elizabeth Warren. Um I understand the argument you're making, right? I don't, I'm not convinced that using the term genocide is in any way going to undercut the case that you're making about what Israel's doing. I, 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 I'm not convinced. Well, I, I don't think broadly speaking, but I think with, with, there are people that you you're talking to and she's up in there and, and she's got a, a wide array of constituents. Um, I think her point is, is that when you say genocide, uh, a, a certain percentage of people just immediately start going with, Arguing about the uh, terms of genocide as opposed to actually addressing what's actually going on there. And it becomes a semantic argument. But I haven't seen that. I mean, I, I, I guess. Right. But Ooh, that, well, you should that, meet some people in my family. Well, I, I look, I mean, I mean I've had this con these kinds of conversations, too, with fam members of my family. Um, but I guess I know. Look, I, it's different. I'm I'm. Uh, I'm very waspy, so it's like not the exact what? same uh, on at least one side of my family. They're wasps, but it's just like I mean the I I'm I think it's a convenient thing for her and other politicians to make that case. I agree that based on her background, right, it makes sense that she wants to uh, to 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 go at it from that legal perspective, and she feels she can make a better case. But I just think that you know. We're well, no, moving so I quickly you're, you're, in this conversation. I'm saying, uh, I, you're, you, uh, no, the, I, I think I'm arguing that she says in a legalistic sense, yes, it's genocide. Right. She believes it is. I mean, obviously, like, you know, she's not the adjudicator of this, but she said legalistically, I think there's evidence uh, and that there's enough evidence to find that they are committing genocide. Um, but I think she says, like, I don't, see the efficacy of that within uh, of using that word within the po uh, political realm because too many people shut down and avoid the actual reality that's going on there and it, that's the you know uh I, I mean i think for me personally the most effective thing to say is like if you don't like the word genocide just use whatever word you need to weaponizing food to starve children and uh, and adults for that matter or shooting indiscriminately at any male that is within uh, 500 yards of you, or that assuming that everybody there or, or you know, is uh, Hamas, that, that, and again, by Israeli uh, definition, what, Hamas is what, 12%, um, 10% uh, of the population? Not even, right? I mean, um, uh, yeah, they're no, categorizing not even, like a, a, a tiny, tiny percentage. Uh, I don't know what the 20 or 30,000 out of two, uh, 2 million is. 2%, yeah. 10, whatever it is. And that you will shoot everyone who is a male and blow them up. Um, that is, you can call that whatever you want, but you cannot call it humane or justified or um you know the 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 icj will decide with the fair with enough the i mean i think that her incentive structure is different than mine right which is i i think it's important to say the word clearly define the terms look through talk about the genocide convention as the fact that the u.s and israel are both party to it and in violation of it because i think democratizing the term is actually important for global solidarity on this front where people can understand like what is actual warfare and what is genocide um and i think that the it's been it's been defined really by the west for quite a while and i think in the cultural imagination of it it's a historic event that happened to jewish people in the holocaust and then people probably couldn't name a second one um and now we're starting to i think have a broader understanding of you know colonialism in that context the west's role in that in genocides and for for my, for the purposes of educating people that's why i think it's important so 
Um, Mia Pink says, I have found that true when talking to Zionists, you bring up the word genocide and then the conversation turns into semantics. Bean Queen says, I think that Sam's point of not getting caught up in semantics makes more sense if you're talking to family or something like that. But I think it's important for public officials to use their position to state clearly what is happening is a genocide. I think that's probably... That's probably my um, position, yeah. Yeah, Mitty Doctors says, in my experience, not using the genocide word normalizes the acts as products of conflict. Genocide is a crime and absolute devoid of context unlike individual acts, which may or may not be crimes. Good point. Um, Old Chomsky, Sam would over-explain the mass killing of a group of people until the person he was talking to was so bored they'd concede the argument. Or he could just say genocide so everyone knows what he means. Um I think it really does depend on the uh, the audience that you're you're talking right. to, uh, and I think there is an argument that for people who are just sort of disengaged or not as engaged in this uh, topic, that genocide is probably uh, uh, a better word to use in that respect because it does define it in that way. 